or the bad part about that is that if I mess up, I mess up really bad. <laughs> right. Yeah. You overshoot. Yeah. yeah you're already yeah, undershoot yeah, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I feel it's funny. I, I'm not, not until recently was I like that. Like I always found myself and I don't know where really where I got this from, uh-huh. but I always had two to three jobs. Like uh-huh. I, I did for some reason, I always held on to that. Like, oh, I'm going to be and it, it as really I mean, I'll get to that. But like I was always like I did social work and I was uh-huh. working in the fitness industry. I was doing this and I was doing that. You know what I mean? Like always two jobs i think i always wanted to know like for me i was never dependent on one Just business yeah, yeah like oh you and i and i always carried that around and it didn't and it as as well as it worked it also held me back because not until like maybe the last like i'd say really like three years where i was like i have to start diving in to things like you know what I'm saying right. a little bit more yeah like I have to put my chips all in sometimes yeah and that's the that's the space that I'm in right now like I'm like like even like at a home he was like you don't want to work at like a Barry's boot camp or anything like that and it's like I have nothing against the Barry's boot camp I, I wouldn't mind working there at all but for me I'm like right now I'm telling myself that I have my brand is a boxing coach you know what I mean and mm-hmm. like that's where I'm headed mm-hmm. like I want to be one of the best in that space right now and I feel like if I didn't go for it in that way, I couldn't get it. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll get there. But right. that, but you know, it's just funny like that you said that because I'm just getting to that space where it's like, let me let, let me attack it with that focused energy and see what happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the number one question I had when um I told people like, yo, I'm applying for different jobs and all this stuff. You know, I haven't gotten it yet. Yeah. But um, they were like, oh, so you're looking for a side gig, part time, mm-hmm. whatever it may be, and down to the interviewer. You know, she was reviewing my resume and all this stuff. So, um, you still there? Yeah, I'm still at my current job. So, um, as a personal trainer, are you looking for something part time or full time? Mm. I'm like, oh no, um, if we do this, it's gonna <laughs> be full time. <laughs> you know? I'm coming all the way yeah, in. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. You know. Yeah, what I mean? and it's it's it's, man, yeah, it's that extremeness. But it's like, isn't it like, um, I think it has to do with belief. Yeah. Like coming out of that interview, you know, my friends who knew I was going there, they were asking me like, oh, so how to go, how to go. And I didn't know how long of an interview process was going to be. It started with a phone call an in-person meeting. Now I'm to the next level where it's an actual functional interview. Right. And, um, you know, I passed it down there. So now past those two and now I'm to the functional part. And, um, yeah, friends were asking, you know, how to go before I even knew. I'm like, I think I nailed it. Yeah. You know, I just had that yeah, feeling, yeah. you know? I feel good. Yeah, like, I yeah, feel yeah, good, yeah, yeah. you know? And um, it's just one of those things where I feel like that's that's like the way I have to operate. If, I don't, if I'm not fully confident in it, yeah. then I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm fully confident in it, I'm not going to half-ass it. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of risk involved, and that's, it's not, you know, a lot of people who can't. Or not risk takers, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. like playing stocks. You got to know your, your the way you yeah, play yeah, stocks. Yeah, yeah, how yeah, how risk averse yeah. are you? Whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it's not it's not the path for everybody. But I feel like as I'm the type that's all or nothing because I feel like if I give myself some kind of cushion or if I give myself an escape plan or something like that, mm-hmm. then I'm not gonna really commit. I know that's there. Right. It's like when I go for a one max rep, right? And I have the squatter racks or squatter bars. Uh huh. And I'm failing, and I take those motherfuckers off. Right, and I'm ain't like, no Yo. failing, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we either squat or we or yeah. we're, we're we're at the ER, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's how it is. My, you know, my girl comes in like, hey, could you, should I should I squat you? Nope, nope. This is this is going up right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I respect it. And like, honestly, man, like, it's weird. I'm I'm kind of twofold with what I'm gonna say next. But like, you know, we're in a, we're in a space. We're in a place, Los Angeles, uh-huh. where you know, fitness is like yeah it's pretty big it's up it's ingrained in the culture uh-huh. of los angeles especially you know what i mean we're talking hollywood we're out right now we're in venice everybody's oh, out yeah. it, it was cloudy as soon as that sunshine came out everybody Everyone came, came out. out you know <laughs> yeah. what i mean it's yeah. just, that is just the way la is so like you know speaking on as far as having to be full go all in like again having been in the industry on both sides from sales to the fitness aspect mm-hmm. of it like personal training and coaching you I, you, I see those people who are like, uh, and that lack of confidence or that lack of commitment. Can they be successful at a time? Yes. Some can be even extremely successful, but they're outliers. Yeah. The, the, the majority of really successful trainers are trainers. They are coaches. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if anything else is on the side, that's, that is on the side, but they are the coach. They are a trainer. They 
they are all in with that. Yeah. They have to be, you know what I mean? Because we're in such a competitive market. How can you sell somebody and say, I'm your personal trainer, you know what I'm saying? For most, uh-huh. for most people. How, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay you to train me but you don't really give me that that vibe that you're all in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to give you my money, my you gotta time. You got to make them believe. How can they, they gotta believe, believe. you don't believe yourself? They got to believe. Yeah. They have to believe. They have to see. You have to live it in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? Like, even now, like, I, I run into, like, like problems. Not problem. I want to call it a problem. It's not a problem at all, actually. But where a lot of people, because I never competed. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, a lot of people are like, oh, like, you never competed. And I always, I always know that, that for some people that's, like that's a little odd uh-huh. especially because i'm around a lot of coaches who did compete uh-huh. i just happen to come up around a lot of coaches who did compete you know <laughs> what i'm saying and i just never got into it in that like with that intent not to say that it's even off the table it's something i've even thought about uh-huh. you know what i mean recently but anyways like until they see me like in the ring or spar with me or you know what i mean like in that fashion then they're like oh but he knows what he's doing at yeah. minimum you know what i'm saying but i had to get in my head too like you better get your ass in that ring and spar these motherfuckers because they have to know either yeah. either you have to know that you need to get better or they have to know that you're good enough to teach them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's one of, it's one of the two, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the crazy part because yeah. um I'm going through this process now and I'm, you know, applying for a, a you know, a personal trainer job. Yeah. So, you know, I've been training um family friends for a little bit now and then you know i have aesthetics because my show's just right around the corner so i show up at this meeting yeah he's hiding it in yeah. the sweater we ought to carry this fucker's jacked right nah. now by the way <laughs> yeah, for just a mean time yeah, yeah just yeah. a mean time but hey, um, why you got it man Fuck it. yeah it's crazy because like just like you and the credentials of being in the ring yeah one of the things before i even coached i knew that i wanted to explore different outlets of it and build some kind of, kind of credentials yeah so absolutely my clients could know and um one of those things was that I knew I did not want to coach until I put myself through a show. Right. I remember you telling me that actually. Yeah. And it's not like everyone's trying to go to a show, but if you could put yourself through that situation where you took your body from, you know, wherever you were at to this super extreme aesthetics that everyone that wants to work out, Mm -hmm. that's the first reason why is I want to look like that dude in the magazine or somebody or that dude on the stage. Yeah. And just going through the process now coming through it, that's what built me a little bit more confident in like, okay, now I'm closing in. Now I could share. I have a story to share. Yeah. You know, yeah. and not only that, I've done it. Right. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely, man. So that's one of the things. And then, like, even at that level, it's like now in the corporate side of things is the the certifications. Right. You know? The red tape. We yeah. always have that, that infamous <laughs> that red, red tape, tape yeah. the filter that we always discuss. Yeah. Just like those health permits and test kits or prep kitchens we needed for grub life. This is just one of those red tapes again. Now, like, all right, we could probably see you perform. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, it is true. Yeah, but what's, for what's for the them, it's very yeah. it's very um, legal. Mm-hmm. For them, it's yeah. it's sim- It's like not even like it's strictly legal for them. You know yeah, what I mean? Working that's what at it is. yeah, especially working at you know I used to work for a big box gym, uh-huh. and like like I told you, like some at cer- certain points, depending on which location I was at, they would hire people that weren't certified, and they were they would they would be okay with that until mm-hmm. they got their cert or whatever. And then it, some were just like, no, we need a cert. But it was all, and then yeah. I, you know, going through it, I realized, oh, for you, it's a legal aspect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They don't want that yeah. to come around and bite them. Nah, somebody sprains a pinky, mm-hmm. you know, so on and so forth. It's like, we're coming to sue you. So I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the way the business works. That's the things you it do. Is. It is you know? what it is. Yeah. So, like, in your nine to five, you're already doing things you don't want. You're already do. jumping through <laughs> yeah, the hoops. Right? You're already jumping yeah. through. The, I agree, man. Yeah. So there's all there's always gonna be things you don't want to do, but then at the end of this list is that one thing you want to do. Yeah, and right. Then the journey is better. People, yeah, a lot of people like. Oh, I don't believe in that. Like, I could just do it. Like, you know, I wasn't banging on it, but then I have other people who share that opinion. Like, well, I'm just gonna get super huge. Or I'm gonna get super buff or super lean, super cut, and do personal training. Right. And they don't want to take the fundamental steps right agreed you know what i mean they don't want to work at a at a commercial gym they don't want to work they want to go straight private boutique x amount of dollars an hour no experience you know yeah and they don't want to take the process yeah i guess definitely about learning a process man and it's something i you know my mantra from last year i don't know i I think i said this was stay humble Uh stay hungry yeah you know what i'm saying like that's literally just been the mantra like and and the reason I, i say that is because I had to remind myself, first of all, to stay humble and know that I have to be learning. Uh-huh. I have to be learning. Like, even right now, with this whole, like, box union going, like, uh-huh. you know, it's not my style of gym. 
mm-hmm. right? I come from a gym where people were trying to learn how to fight yeah. and box. And then I went to this gym and they boxed to music. And I was very, <laughs> very skeptical, you know, looking at it like, but then you, then you, then I, you know, started diving in. They asked me if I want to train, yada, 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 or be a coach. And I start seeing the amount and the, uh, the amount of intensity required to be a coach at these locations, uh-huh. you know, and you see it's, it's not better or worse. It's different. Can I learn to be that coach? And so mm-hmm. the, 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 the mindset that I took was, can I mold my product that I'm used to into this product that these other people like? That's the way I, I tried to approach it. Yeah. And, uh, and so, you know, and, and, and then stay hungry because there was also seven, eight other coaches in the same program uh-huh. with me who were trying to do the same thing and get the same amount of classes. Um, and so, you know, I t- just having to go through that process last year was very humbling. Uh-huh. And, and it reminded me that we always have to go through red tape. And every, every, like, every great person I look up to, oh, I always hear that, that kind of mantra. Mm-hmm. Like I have to be either learning something new or looking for that next thing I need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there has to be some type of mental goal, but also staying humble. Again, like we were, like we were talking about earlier, you know, being able to self-evaluate uh-huh. was very important and is very important. And then staying hungry. We got to keep moving forward. We got to look at that next ladder, next step. How can I evolve? You know, it's hard to stay hungry when 